Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. When buying telescopes for astronomy or astrophotography, usually these telescopes come with a finder scope, but sometimes these finder scopes are not suitable for observing the night sky. So in today's video I would like to introduce this finder scope to you, which is the Telrad finder scope. In my opinion this one is a must have for astronomy. So in this video I would like to introduce this finder scope to you and explain why I think that this one is a must have for astronomy. All that and everything right after the intro. This video is not sponsored, I'm not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by myself. But I now would like to start by introducing this finder scope to you. So as I already mentioned, when buying telescopes, usually these telescopes come with a finder scope. So this finder scope, for example, is a finder scope that was attached to uh, the Presser Pollux telescope I bought in the beginning. So this is just a laser finder scope, but this one is definitely not that good for astronomy and th therefore I definitely recommend um, upgrading to this one because when using these, this finder scope for example you have a very limited field of view. So as you can see on um, the diameter um, it's very very small and it's very hard to see details through that uh, finder scope. And furthermore this one is a laser finder scope so, there, so when turning uh, this finder scope on you will get a laser dot in the front of, this, of these glasses. But the problem is that this laser is very, very bright, and when observing these objects in the night sky, and we're looking through these finder scopes, the dot is that bright that you will not be able to see very small objects, very faint objects through these, these finder scopes. So when looking for planets such as Jupiter or Mars, for example, this is okay because those planets are very bright when looking through these finder scopes. But when observing galaxies or nebulae, it's very hard to see those objects through these finder scopes because um, the, uh, the laser is definitely too bright. Another example for finder scopes is this one for example. So this one comes with um, the Skywatcher uh, 150 PD Astronauton telescope I've bought, which is the telescope I'm currently using for astrophotography. But the problem with this finder scope is that this finder scope has a magnification. So when looking, when looking for objects in night sky, it's very hard to find those objects because these finder scopes have a lot of magnification and therefore your field of view is definitely limited. Definitely this one is great for um, doing the star alignment process when using go-to mount for example, but in general I definitely recommend this Telrad finder scope. And I would like to introduce this finder scope and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of this one. The very first thing I like about uh, this finder scope is that this finder scope does not have magnification and therefore the field of view is very big and therefore it's easier to look for stars and you, it's easier for you to find those objects in the night sky. As I already mentioned, uh, the very first finder scope that uh, came with my Presser Pollux telescope, it has um, this red LED, that red laser dot. And it was very hard to find objects through that finder scope because the, it was simply too bright. But in this case, we can adjust the brightness of the laser of that, which is definitely very helpful when looking for those very um, dark objects such as galaxies and nebulae. So you can just adjust the brightness to a very low level and therefore it's very easy to see those objects through these finder scopes. So I was even able to see the Andromeda galaxy uh, through, these finders, through this finder scope, which definitely shows that this one is definitely suitable for looking at those objects and for finding them in the end. Another advantage of this one is um, the kind of laser or the kind of LED that is used. So the very first one I introduced to you, um, they used just a laser dot, so it was definitely not helpful. But in this case, you will see circles when looking through. So therefore, it's very easy to find those objects because the object will appear in the center of these circles, which makes observing or finding those objects much easier. So these are all advantages of this one. Now I would like to introduce this finder scope. So when buying this finder scope, you will get two pieces. The one piece you're currently seeing is for attaching this finder scope to a telescope. So on the bottom of that piece there is a tape which allows you to directly attach the finder scope to your Newtonian telescope or your telescope in general. Now I would like to show you the inside of this finder scope. So you can remove this piece here and then you can look in the inside of this finder scope. So like that. And here in the back you can see the batteries, which is something I really, really like because you can remove them and replace them in the night when they are run out of power and it's very easy to use this one. Right here you can see the LED 
and um, so the light just goes up here and here in the back there is a mirror built inside and then the light is reflected here in the top through the lenses on that glass so in the end you will um, see those circles here in these classes here which makes observing definitely so much easier so here in the back you can see the switch so here you can turn on and turn off the entire um, finder scope so the LED built inside and you can adjust the brightness with this one here so when just moving a bit you can see that sound which means that it's turned on and now you can adjust the brightness so this is the maximum brightness and when moving like that you will get so it gets darker and darker and we can see the sound here it's turned off so it's actually very very easy to use and i definitely recommend it here in the back you can see these three pieces here these are for adjusting um, the circles so in the end it's very important that you align your telescope with this finder scope and therefore you can align the circles with these uh, pieces here so when you turn them here um, the circle inside here but well, that will move and that is something you have to do when attaching this finder scope to a telescope and now to my final opinion so as I mentioned in the beginning of this video um, in my opinion this is a must-have for astronomy so this one definitely makes observing the night sky so much easier because you can adjust the brightness there's no magnification so you get a very wide field of view which allows you to easily find those objects not only planets but also deep sky objects so in my opinion i definitely recommend this one and this one will definitely be an amazing upgrade for your telescope so just in case you have any specific questions on that finder scope or on how to attach this finder scope to your telescope or on how to upgrade this finder scope because there are definitely chances to upgrade this finder scope in order to improve it even more for astronomy so if so definitely feel free to ask me down below in any comments and if you have questions on the finder scopes i've mentioned in the beginning definitely feel free to ask me down below in the comments as well um, if you found that guide helpful and it was interesting to you, I would definitely appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.